اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم پناہ مانگتا ہوں میں اللہ کی شیطان مردود سے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم شروع اللہ کے نام سے جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم والا ہے Dislike, dislike 
I would say only one thing that it's quite busy profession. So you don't, you can't give time to your friends, your family. Just stick to your profession. That's it. As you have uh, chosen such a difficult profession, so what do you like about this job? About it? It's easy way to help people. That's it. Um, describe a difficult situation you ever seen during your job. Difficult situation. Yeah, there was a kid. Uh, uh, he was about four years old, and yeah. he came with a history of electric burn. And then after three, three or four days, he passed by. Yeah. So that was my first. Like I was not exposed to this before. That was my first experience. I saw it with my own eyes, and it was first experience. And that was just shocking for me. Every person has its future plan. So, where do you see yourself after five years? Future plan. No one knows about the future, but I, I just like we have a few exams. Now give it. Now be here somewhere, some hospital. MBA, MBBS is quite difficult regarding studies. What difficulty you have facing during your studies? Yeah, you are right. MBBS is quite difficult. Yeah. Actually, during exams, we mostly study for 20 hours, 18 hours. So it was hard for us even to sleep eat and we were just having one like coffee again and again we were taking that and it was like we faced it that way. If you are not a doctor, what other profession would you like to choose and why? I would I would be a I would have joined army because from childhood it was my second dream to to become an uh, army officer. If you make your own hospital, which facility you want to provide most and different from other hospitals? Uh, just to help poor people, I'll give like manage it, like give them free medication, etc. It's mostly happened in families. They comment about your profession. How your family responds towards your profession? Yeah, they are quite proud of my profession because this is helping people and just just like that. They are proud of my profession. If you get injured, can you treat yourself or not? No, no, we can treat ourselves. Uh, there's an oath. When you become a doctor, they give you an oath. So in that, it's written that you cannot treat yourself, you cannot treat your relatives. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. I am here with Dr. Ali and Dr. Ubaid. Uh, we are taking the interview of Dr. Ali and I am uh, going to ask a couple of questions. He is with his friend, Dr. Umair. So, let me start. Uh, firstly, I want to ask you that uh, every person has a special memories with his or her friend. So, can you tell us about your best friend and uh, which event you have enjoyed most of them? Yeah, so, Dr. Umair is my best friend and I know him from very little boy. And there is not a single event that I enjoyed with him. Like when we went abroad, we traveled a lot. We went to different parties, and uh, mostly we enjoyed. That. Yeah, there was one thing that favorite party when we were coming back from China, when we graduated, there was a party, farewell party, and we enjoyed that a lot. So I want to ask you that as you are a doctor, so you have to come across a lot of people in your daily life right? and uh, they were kind of different from each other. So how you manage to deal with them? Yeah, it's a bit hard because sometimes you have to 
manage different kind of people. So it's quite hard, but still we do manage it. Yes. Simplicity. Yes, very kind of you. So I want to ask you that as you got a got a much easy profession. So how you manage to give time to your family and to your friends? Yeah, this profession is quite busy, but still we got weekend, we got off days. So we do go. We do have friends. We do have like we go and go to our family and enjoy with them. Uh, have you joined a social community or uh, club? And it gives so kind of tell us about that. Yeah, I did uh, CEA community. It's about like about all the health and just uh, like activities. I don't know how to describe it. It's about health departments. Like it's like about helping, helping the poor helping patients. Helping the few poor patients and like giving them medicine for free. Just like that. Uh, have you seen that? Uh, how you think that you are playing a positive role in the society as you are a doctor? As a doctor, I'll say you one thing: like doctor is by itself, it's you are helping people. This profession is helping other people. So this way, I think. Uh, can you kindly tell us that if you ever get a chance to change that society, so what changes you would like to make? First of all, like if I look from my profession. In our country, we are missing these hospital stuff. You know, like there are no proper treatments for the people and uh, no proper medications. So I would like to start from the hospitals. Okay, uh, and uh, as you are quite young, and uh, you will be well aware of uh, today's young generation. So, do you like to give a message to our young generation? I would like to say just one thing: just work hard. It's all about hard work, nothing else. Okay, that's all. Thanks, Doctor. It's okay.